Hey guys, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. It feels like bloody ages since the last time I played this game. And we finished off episode three with the encounter with Bloody Mary. Bigby was not in a good way. He was a bit broken in pieces, uh, particularly his arm. And we are continuing, so this is episode four. We have only one more episode left after this, so we're getting near the end already. Episode four, Wolf in Sheep's, or in Sheep's Clothing, I should say. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you oh. have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shark. <laughs> the mirror's face. Oh. Arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I finally see you. He thought we were banging you beauty. Are. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Nah. Oh. It's such a bad ass scene, though. I love Bigby. Oh, yeah, I spared him and she shot me in the bloody back. But, you know. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Snibbling little weasel. A beautiful relationship. Yes, really. I mean it. Oh, the, the creepiest bit about that is that little bone. There's like a little bit of bone, like a hook sticking out of it. Like there, look. Oh. <laughs> It's splintered. Ugh. Ooh. Atmospheric. What the fuck? Is that his blood? Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Oh, he'll be okay though. Hmm? He'll be okay. Uh. His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Uh, easy for you to see. Ugh. I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. My arm! My arm? <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Oh, stop Please, moving it! Stop stop don't move it. Moving it! Doctor! Oh! Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Can I? Oh, I can. What kind of doctor are you? Why am I, why am I not? I have lots of money. For heaven's sake. No, no, doctor! <laughs> ah! See now, that wasn't so difficult, was it? It didn't work! That'll do. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. Yeah, he'll listen I to you, Snow. Know that bad. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Excuse oh. me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. You'll have your turn later. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... Out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. 
It's finished when it's finished. Oh, fucking Colin getting his nose stuck in it. The vet saw a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your who's? Hey, listen, please, lady. keep it down back there. Please don't distract the doctor when you're so close to my liver. Please not distract the doctor when he has <laughs> my chest cut open. Yes, that would be helpful. The buttons seem to work, but my little joystick didn't work. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me, and, well, this time... Oh, he's fucked no up. Joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Aww. Miss White. He looks so sad and broken. Duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. Aww. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I can still hear you. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. He's called Swineheart. What if he has something to do with pigs? He has a pig's heart. So, how do you, um, feel? Just drinking some beer to numb the pain. It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. <laughs> I'm glad you're not dead. Oh, that's what I said to her. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Oh. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just... Oh. Awful. Snow, I'd never leave you. Oh. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. Guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest. God's sake, sake, Colin, that was a beautiful moment. The whole thing. What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? Nope. And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yup. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Probably well, the first one, hoping those the second are my one. Two options. I don't think I'd pick desperate. No. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm going to let Bloody Mary just murder it. It My was a love. Split second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. Yeah. Aww. Thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? I'm alive! Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. What else could Snow do? She didn't hand him over. My ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Exactly. Okay, okay. I'll take your word for it. Shut All up, I Colin. care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? 
Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <gasps> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. Oh, then shit! Now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. Crooked. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. <laughs> a little respect. You'll just piss on your sheets. Behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look. I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. Aww. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. <laughs> what happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need what? monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? I had no other choice. Under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees of murder. <laughs> I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case. Please explain to Colin why ripping Gren's arm uh, was necessary. Well... Um... It's what I had to do, okay? Because I fucking felt <laughs> like it, okay? I wanted to destroy something. That's not what I picked! Here. No, Big P. It is that is not what I picked! I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> but this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles Just on it. Quiet. Him. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm Preach it, Colin. I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that. Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the front. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you that was the law anyway. Me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Monday does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? She's the boss! Simply get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. <laughs> you can find truffles. That's, that's, that's good money, right there. Wolf's residence. That's rude. <laughs> oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? The fairy godmother. Nerissa. Nerissa. Oh! That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh... Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a fly. <laughs> she knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. Yvonne, mein Führer. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Ooh. I mean, 
She seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Uh, right still change your mind. Snow come around. She's just you know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Yeah, she your mind. Oh, okay. fine. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Yeah, she's just pissed. I mean, this is not well, that's gonna be like in the comics or anything. Oh, he doesn't know that though. He can't see the future. And there's the farm. Oh, my spleen. Hi, at least you got your top on this time. Oh, and that's the intro. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to pick all the right choices as well between Bigby and Snow. Because I love them together. But then I'm also trying to be like Bigby. And it's hard. Because I'm going to have to piss Colin off. Because I have to do what Snow tells us to do. It's good to be back. Still haven't heard anything about season two. I don't know when that's going to release actually, or it's going to be this year, next year. Probably going to be 2021. Hi, Hi. still standing sure. there. <laughs> Hi, Narissa. Shut the door. Beowulf. Have a seat. Boggy. I don't know if I would like to drink booze called Boggy. A nice place you got here. I, um, are you okay? It's a bit nippy in here. <laughs> you didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. You should see don't the other guys. By this. I didn't get the worst of it. I think you might have done. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Big bad wolf. Of course I'm gonna smoke huff and puffs. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me. Sending me the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? Nuh uh. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Eh? Back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie. I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? Mm -hmm. You can try. I just... Go ahead. Mm. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? Yes, come on. These lips are sealed. Nah. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. That's a long ass cigarette. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I. I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now. They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Um... Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. Aww. So I hope you're looking after yours. Ooh. Are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but 
But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. No, I'm not really getting much information. I thought but... I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith 412. Do you like it? Hmm? It was... It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Take it off. Can I take it off? Um, can't we just take the ribbon off? No, lips are sealed. What? You can't. <laughs> just stay back. How isn't anyone near you, boobies? You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right going to do anything. Please. Don't. Okay, 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 okay. Jelly beans, <sighs> sit back down. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... You die. Um... I don't know how, but I'm going to fix this. He's a good boy. Point me in the right direction. I swear, I will fix this. No. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably Snow. No, oh, look at the smile on his Listen, face, Dopey boy. Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble what are you worried about just please don't say anything uh, I wasn't doing anything sorry I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment please excuse us one minute I might have a new lead for you but I don't know how solid it is Ooh. beauty and beast called the office just now they said they wanted to talk to you about something. Not everyone wants to talk to I me today. They've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. Oh, no, I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Ah. Wait, you don't have to go. That was uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? Not much, to be fair. To rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay, then. Take the ribbon off, the heads fall off. Ribbon off, head off. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. She did give me the keys to the other place to find out where the snow copy got mm. killed. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Oh. <laughs> Nothing's changed then. You don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Oh. B bye then. See, see you later. Love you! <laughs> okay, this is the nice part of the woodlands. Is my joystick working now? Right, it's working. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that it was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. 
And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? Mm. You know what it was. You know what was going on. Domestic! Job, and you wouldn't have it. How do you make it into something it wasn't? It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets. Yeah, get drunk. If you're going to bring up ancient history. I don't have to stand here and listen. Fine. Go off in a hop. I'm, I'm through talking anyway. Are you about to fix? I'm going to knock on your door. Very forcefully with my semi broken arm. <laughs> oh. What do you want? I will blow well, this door down. You're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? you Wanna get your ass kicked Listen, again? I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad no, guy. No, you're the idiot. This. Nothing happens. about it all night long from her. Who is it? I will kick your ass. Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? It's your pal. He's gonna say it's your boyfriend. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Oh, is this gonna be like a facade? Are they gonna go in there and I get to hear them slugging each other off? Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I've already told you. <laughs> I do, yes! <laughs> I love it. I fucking hate you! I fucking hate you too! Hi! And then you run and call him again. <gasps> don't break it, don't break it. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. That is a really creepy picture. That's really creepy picture. Mm. He's, oh, it's so Talk creepy. About living in the past. All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. If I walked into someone's house and I saw a picture like that, just give it the heebies. That's why I call. We'll finish this later. But we need Solid oak. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. I don't talk yet because I haven't looked at all your shit. Um, I might have looked at all your shit. Right, you can come in now. <laughs> I've finished through your stuff. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say: centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. The fuck did you just call say, me? Your place? It looks uh expensive. It does. What do you mean by that? If someone is looking for money. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Are you in debt? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Nope. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our How about own. sell this some stuff? Complicate Cut your cloth accordingly. And I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Look. I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances we're just looking for a little peace of mind in this you are in danger you two need to cooperate so i can get the crooked man off the street you don't want to be next yep crane owed them something but if you'd rather deal with this on your own no please don't then tell me what the fuck is going on you're in so much debt look around you this isn't the way people short on cash live look we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle Okay? Ugh. We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Normal people? Yeah, gonna get that. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. 
<laughs> uh, let me just uh a day at the beach? Hey, Being we're not done yet. <laughs> I should And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> humanly possible. <laughs> Bretch. Who's that? I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. Ooh. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can Whose voice it. is that? Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. That's a new voice. <clears throat> All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Come on. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, eh? that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, I love this bit! That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Oh, I love this episode. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. Oh, he sold I guess it. He's hit hard times too. Oh, Mary got There's the axe from there. Going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go For check permanent. out. For permanent. If I can track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise. That the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And. And? You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Butcher baker, candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is. It's for the crooked man. Ooh, juicy. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Well, what are you? Just doing? deluded. What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. Well, of the traditional how kind. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. So you do their dirty work. Look the other way. Oh, work beast. is work. All I do is deliver stuff. Could be drugs. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Because the other one was on Wendy drugs, wasn't she? The trolls. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. I mean, you're scraping pretty well. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. You shit in the woods. <laughs> I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? I. If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'm going. Oh shit, I gotta decide. Oh, I've gotta decide. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have a little think about this and I'm gonna call this episode a day right here. So, 
Thank you very much for joining me on the first part of episode 4 of The Wolf Among Us. Yay! I love this so much. I'm so glad it's back. Um, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think so far, and uh, subscribe for some more content. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care now, guys. Bye!